Thank God it's Tuesday, part two of the uh, Lyndon uh, Baines Johnson LBJ Librarian Museum. It's still the 10th of September, 90 degrees in Boston, Texas, and I wanted to show you the exterior of this beautiful, beautiful presidential library. Massive, massive. Massive. Let's go around front. You can see the entrance. I'll spin it around as I get uh, further from the front so you get a better view. monument to the legacy and uh, the accomplishments of L.B.J. Lyndon Baines Johnson. Just a wonderful building and uh, wonderful promenade steps leading to the fountain. I'll show you this side view and give you a couple of glimpses at the scale of this of, of this uh, of this building. Just the scale is very impressive. Again. Wonderful. Uh, here is the Texas Longhorn Stadium. This is the University of Texas. This is where the football team plays. And it is a massive stadium. It looks like a professional NFL uh, stadium. I'm not sure how many. This is the stadium. This is the place that Ben Wilson came to town to see his uh, Colorado State, I think, get their asses completely reamed from uh, 52 to zero, I think the score was. These colleges, these American colleges, a lot of them have more money than most of the countries on earth. They simply are flush with cash. They could, in relative numbers, probably let people come to class for free for many years. That's how much money they have. This is the famous tower. Unfortunately, uh, it's famous for or known for that shooter who went up there and did some uh, nefarious activity to say the least uh, back in the day. I'm not even sure when it was, but uh, that was where he got up there and it took quite some time for them to get up there and take care of business. And uh, I got a couple of items of interest today. Uh, the volunteers are very nice. They have volunteers that work in the library and they're more than happy to answer any questions. 1846, the sewing machine got a patent a patent for the show. I'm in the wrong lens again, I'm sorry. The sewing machine received a patent in 1846 and this machine just changed economically uh, the world as far as textiles and clothing manufacturing. And uh, it was amazing, it really was. It was, uh, uh, how do you say that? How do you say this name over here? Elias Ho. How, what is it? Elias Ho. E L I A S. These are the steps leading up to the uh, LGB Museum. 
There's the uh, Lyndon B. Johnson School of Public Affairs, which is a fitting location for that educational uh, school. Uh, Elias Howe. 1846, he, uh, he was the inventor and he received the patent for the sewing machine. You think, ah, oh, it's a sewing machine. Look at these wonderful trees. Look at the wonderful canopies on these oak trees. If you like trees, some of you are saying trees. Why does he keep showing trees? What is his love of trees? Well, Who cannot like trees? Oh my God. It'd be, it'd be like the moon without trees. Uh, in 1846, the sewing machine. And in uh, 2008, the first large hydrogen collider was tested. It was a, it's a particle accelerator. It's located in Switzerland, that neutral country, Switzerland, where everybody hides their money, and Geneva, and uh, Albert Einstein, I think, did a lot of growing up in his earlier years, was from Switzerland, uh, Bern, was it, or something? So perhaps that was, uh, it's a European Union type investment, sort of like Airbus, where everybody gets, uh, in on it and uh, everybody uh, uh, contributes financially to the project. Anyway, this is some kind of particle accelerator. What these clowns are trying to do is find out the spark of life, what, what, what made Earth, what made the universe. So what they're trying to do is slam these particles together, whatever they may be, you can guess. Your guess is as good as mine. Hydrogen, atoms, protons, neutrons, McDonald's hamburgers, who knows what they're smashing together. Anyway, they're smashing them all together at a high rate of speed, trying to find out why we're here, why we're breathing, why we live, where we are. And uh, you can only probably guess they're trying to figure out another way to kill people or invent another sinister weapon. It's always the same, but that's what happened in uh, 2008. You can Google it. They tested the damn thing. It looks like a big uh, hula hoop and it's real large and it goes around in a circle and they slam these particles around into one another and they try to find out why we're here. And if they found out why we were here, they probably wouldn't tell us anyway. They wouldn't want us to stop buying garbage and shopping. So they probably wouldn't tell us anyway. But you can bet your peanuts to dollars. There's the fountain. I asked a woman no fountain today, and she said they only put the fountain on when they're trying to impress someone. So I guess... Uh, uh, I guess uh, they're not trying to impress me. I'll come up here on this hill up here. And uh, I don't know if you're aware of it too, these uh, these billionaires, these uh, San Jose, what do they call it, Silicon Valley, these, these, these uh, 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 Erickson or Ellison. Uh, they're trying to AI, artificial intelligence, their brains. I don't know if anybody knows about this, but these people want to live forever. These uh, Facebook character witnesses and all these other clowns with billions and billions of dollars. They got clowns in offices and laboratories trying to record their brain somehow. And so they can live forever and just take drugs and have sex forever. And uh, this is what they're trying to do. So it just gets, uh, it's, it's just like a science fiction movie. There's the nice shot of the library, the Prudential Library. Nice cool breeze now. And uh, 
They're trying to, they want to live forever. They don't want to die. So they're going to try to replicate their brain waves or their thinking and put it into AI because evidently AI can do anything and everything. What, LA, uh, what AI is, is just a, it's a big copyright infringement. It, it takes what's already been said and what's already been written down, what's already been explained, what's already been accomplished by very intelligent people and it's just hijacked it, stole it, if you will, and reprocessed it. And that's all AI is. It's a big copyright. Uh, I'm AI and I'll take whatever I want to take and I'll reproduce whatever I want to reproduce. And it's gonna take, uh, make a lot of changes as we go forward. Uh, you know, I've mentioned this before, you'll be in an office someplace and, and, and you'll talk to the lady about benefits or something to do with something. And she'll look at you and say, I'm sorry, this is what the computer says. Based on the computer, we can't help you. And you'll say, well, what do you mean the computer? What the computer will do is it'll take uh, millions and millions of applications or million, mil millions and millions of situations and millions and millions of, 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 of determinations and it'll spit out a determination for you just because of what... Look at these beautiful... Uh... Beautiful oak trees, look at the canopy, look at this, look at the branches, just beautiful. And it will spit out anything that it needs to spit out and you will become just a number. It won't be based on case by case uh, anything. It'll be based on you are just a number in a computer, one and twos. And the person will just say, this is what the computer said. Have a nice day and good luck. And uh, so it's, it's it, it, you know, it's change, I guess, whether you think it's good change or bad change, it's change and uh, it's coming. They're in the infancy uh, stages of AI now. You can see it on your phone when you, and uh, you can see it, uh, any images or pictures or videos you can bet your butt that they're AI generated, so you have to be careful not to be fooled by voice interpretations or videos or images. If they're suspicious to you, they're probably AI. Look at these wonderful trees. Let's see if I walk down here, maybe I can get a better view of something else or more of the college. I mean, this college, I did a video on this college uh, at some point when I first came to Austin, probably the first time back in 2020. I came to Austin for seven months and I did a video on the college campus and holy cow, just bring money. Just bring money, Seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 a year to send your child to one of these institutions. Man, you must really hate your kids. Who's gonna spend that kind of money to get the kid out of the house? Jeez. Unbelievable. A lot of cranes in downtown Austin. And, uh, yeah, this menanders around and comes around. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty uh, interesting what these, uh, uh, what these, Billionaires are trying to do. They're just—they're not happy about having all that money and then having having to die. You know, a guy with all that money doesn't want to die. Believe me. I mean, they have to, and they're just going to try to engineer their their mind forever. I don't know how successful they'll be. Just like these science fiction movies. Nice people here, so I gotta point this this iPhone over there. I'm not gonna get anybody's face. These people go nuts in America. You know, if I see another video of these cops coming out into the lobbies of these organizations, the post offices, city hall, uh, DMVs. I mean, I will. Uh, I mean, 
mean, just, just don't do anything. Leave them alone. When she complains in the office, somebody's taping us from the lobby. Tell her they're allowed to tape from the lobby. Stop calling the police. They got enough on their hands. They don't need to respond to clowns that just want to upset the, the, the equation. You know, let them film whatever they want to film. This is very nice over here. All right, I'm going to just walk back to the vehicle and uh, end this presentation. What is this now? This is another long one. People are going to be, you know, I was just wanted to show you the exterior of the presidential library, and then I started mouthing off. Oh. So stay grounded, I guess. Stay grounded and... Uh, Stay grounded and uh, keep the faith and uh, whatever your faith is. And uh, let me see here, I'm trying to... There it is. There's a nice library here. Well, you're not gonna be able to see that. All right, there's another person. Let me go around here. God forbid. UT Club, that must be some kind of meeting place. They have uh, functions over there. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy except the people paying for these tuitions. Jeez. Universities of uh, rich kids, I guess. Look at these beautiful trees. Huh? Anyway, uh, give me an idea where we are. Athletic fields and pavilion. They got another field across the way. American College Institute, police building. Down in there, you know, it's all here. Fine arts, music, performing arts, Memorial Center for Justice. So if anybody wants to know where the LG LBJ Library is, tell them it's on the campus of UT, University of Texas. My God, look at that. Look at the architecture there. Isn't that nice? I just love it the way it's just, you know, you don't see anything out of place. That's true architecture. Look at that. Sometimes they plant trees like that. You can just see the first tree and you can't see any other trees because they're absolutely aligned behind one another perfectly. There he goes again, talking about trees. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. There's the I-35. That runs, it'll take you right to Oklahoma City. Right through to Dallas, Fort Worth. Down to San Antonio. It's a major, major thoroughfare. Let's go around here and see what's over here. And I'll recap. Is. Look at that. Look at that. It's a replica of San Lorenzo Monument One. The sculpture weighing 18 tons is an exact copy of the colossal head that was discovered at the uh, Alemec site of San Lorenzo, Veracruz, Mexico. The original is a landmark work of art at the uh, a college that flourished in southern Mexico from 1500 to 400 BCE. It was a gift. So there it is. It's a replica. A good one at that. So let's find out where the vehicle is. Where is the vehicle? I don't know where the vehicle is. Where is the vehicle? Where is the uh, items of interest? I can't find anything. Here's the items of interest. Here's the parking lot. Let me just keep it on here. This way, no one will say, get that camera out of my face. Uh, sewing machine got a patent by Elias uh, Howe in 1846, changed the world. Uh, 2008, the first uh, particle accelerator in Switzerland was tested trying to figure out another way to kill everybody on the planet. Maybe they'll discover another nuclear weapon that they can use. 
who knows? Keep up the good work. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I hope you enjoyed these two uh, uh, presentations of the LBJ Presidential Library and, uh, and grounds. I'm going to go look and find out if I can recapture my brain and put it in a computer so I live forever. I can smoke crack and do heroin and have orgies for the rest of my life. Forever, I mean.